Hey friends, welcome back. In this video, we will attempt something challenging. We want to paint a glass object using watercolor brushes in Procreate. And we want to try to capture shadows and lights. And we will make the glass look sort of transparent. I will use my effortless watercolor brushes for that and a special canvas with watercolor textures. You can download the color palette and reference image from the link in description. Start by opening up the canvas for watercolor painting. And in the settings, select canvas and then turn on drawing guide and click edit drawing guide and select symmetry. And this will help us to draw the bottle evenly, symmetrically. And we will draw a rough guide for the glass. And because we turned on drawing guide, this is symmetrical. And if you're not good at placing lines, you can just use the sketch that I'm providing in the link in the description. When you're done with the draft, make sure you turn off drawing assist. Reduce the transparency of this layer to about 50% because we need to trace the lines later with our watercolor brushes. Let's start by creating a new layer for our painting. And the first strokes will be made by the hard edge brush and we will use a light mint color. Just apply some patches inside the bottle and then add spots of light lemon color and then blend the edges with the hard edge brush. That's our base layer roughly. So what we're gonna do next will be to add some darker spots on top of the previous layer. For that, we'll use the wet sponge dab brush and we will add some medium green colors. Just add them as spots, like dot dot dot, along the contours of the bottle. And if you add the same stroke, several times in one place, the color will overlap and then look more saturated. If you observe a glass object closely, you'll notice that the edges are always much darker than the center. And what we did is not enough, so we need to reinforce the color differences. For that, we'll use the hard edge brush and add some green strokes along the outlines of the bottle. And be very careful not to cover the yellow lighting side. Also, add a saturated mint color to the bottom and left of the bottle. Please follow the video for the color placement. When you're done, just smoothen the edges with the, the blender brush. And try not to mix the strokes with the yellow spot inside the bottle so that we can preserve the light effect. Now all the edges are looking dark and sharp, the center is light, so we're almost there. Now we need to refine the edges. Add some thin lines of the darkest green, almost black, but dark, dark green, along the outline of the bottle. And then soften the lines with the wet sponge dab brush. The bottle painting is done. We need to work on reflections and highlights. For that, we need a new layer on top. Add, a, add some small strokes of blue and light green to the neck, bottom, and center of the bottle with the wet sponge dab brush. And then also add some long strokes of blue on the right with the hard edge brush, and then soften it to make it look like reflections. Okay, almost done. Let's finish our painting with some highlights. And for that, we will use white paint and the hard edge brush. And we'll just add that on the center of the neck, the center of the bottle, and the very bottom. That is our first attempt to paint a transparent glass, and I hope that wasn't too difficult for you. If you liked this tutorial, it would mean so much if you drop a like and subscribe. We have so many other videos and tutorials on this channel, and I hope you enjoy the rest of them too. Until next time, happy painting!